There is an I in team. There's no I in team. Oh, team is in T H I E M is in Dominic team. Yes, there is an I there. I mean, I'm trying to do something here. I, I, I mean, this probably is bad for me, but I've got to try. I can't just make a draw here. <coughs> There's no no Fedo Seven team. <laughs> oh my gosh. I Sergey didn't give me an autograph when I met him. What a jerk, right? Once again, you guys, you should remember if it was at one of these big events, like uh, in um, in like Moscow or something, we're so focused on the event that uh, we're not going to necessarily notice everybody asking for an autograph. Yeah, I don't know why we haven't started yet. I'm a little bit confused. Okay, here we go. So we're starting. Oh, so I get black against. Okay, I get black. Okay. Okay, against Eric, let's, let's let's play a Car O'Connor. I'm gonna try to beat Eric because I'm gonna go on the assumption that we're not the we're not the best team. Okay. <clears throat> Plays, okay, he's going to play this one. I'm going to just stick to the two bishops line. I could get aggressive with bishop h5. Let's get aggressive. So to when you play a bad opening, I just play something that's not super solid. Something that's a little bit more off-center, basically. Please put 100% focus. Oh, and Eric chickens out. He doesn't play g4. Okay, so that's already a good step in the right direction. Uh, I could take on e4... I think we're just going to play e6 and bishop g6, though. This is not precise, because white should really try to go for the throat with g4 and knight e5. So it's, of course, fine for white, but it's not the most testing line, which is specifically why I played bishop h5. Okay, I actually should not have allowed bishop f4. Let's see. Do I have d4? No, he takes... This music, LOL, yeah. Uga Uga, yes, Uga Uga. Once again, in case I didn't mention, thank you to Laudner for the 11 months as well. Plays 95, very strange move. Hmm. <coughs> Can always just take first, doesn't make a difference. Ah, if I take, he's gonna take with a knight, okay. He's got to take back, and then I take. I think I just castle. White's got double pawn, so it's structurally slightly better for white, but or black, sorry, I should say, but it's still about equal. But I'm very happy with this opening. This is what definitely what I wanted. Play knight g6, kick the bitch. I'm gonna play f5 next move. I think f5 is fine. I don't have to play f5, but it looks... Or I can play e5 and f5. Hmm. Actually, what about e... Yeah, e5 and just f5 looks really, really good for black. Okay, I don't care. I just ignore it with f5. <clears throat> Not worried about this queen side, really. I can always play a6. Place f3. I mean, I can play rook e8 or rook f7. Rook f6 is an idea, too. Rook a8, but I think rook f7 looks correct. Just rook f7 and rook f8. Ah, uh, but he has queen f2, actually. 
D4 maybe? Doesn't look right. Four he goes bishop f2. <coughs> Gonna have to play a Wow, okay. That I thought was a little bit questionable by Eric. Because now I just play a6 and I put the rooks on the seventh. And he never, I mean, he can double on the b file, but it doesn't do anything really. Because I just put the rooks on d8 and d7, and they're always are knight h4 ideas. Hmm. Okay, c4 is a good move though. Or is it? I can still play d4 and c5. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. H5 or H6 is a question too. Bishop f4, queen f4, rook b1 though. Huh. I really like d4. Just create a scape scare for my king. Okay, logical. I can still play d4. This rook d7 looks fine. Sidestepping this g4 trick, which would undermine the the uh, the knight on g6. I'm gonna go rook c7 next move and put pressure on the pawn on c2. Queen e1, which I don't really understand. Put pressure on the pawn on c2. Maybe I have e4. I probably had e4 there, actually. Question is, do I play e4 or not? I think I should, but let me double check. Yeah, I'm going to play e4. <clears throat> Position is very balanced, but I think if anybody has a slight edge, it's probably me. What, did I miss something in Discord? Oh, what? Fedo save is missing? Oh, Fedo save is not. Oh my gosh. Fedo save already forfeited the first game. Oh my gosh, Fedosev's not, oh my gosh. So actually, my decision to not play solid is uh, very, very important here because, I mean, even if I lose this game, I have to try and win because we're already spotting them a point. So, oh, that's terrible news, actually. I mean, really, oh man, that that really messes things up. Um, oh gosh. So yeah, actually, I'm glad that I'm playing like this because even if I mess up and I lose... I have to go for it. There's like no doubt that I have to just go all in. Okay, knight of four takes six, rookie six, rookie seven. 
<coughs> I mean, yeah, 90, I actually want to sack a pawn with 97 d5, but I don't know if it works. So I'm trying to figure it out. You can also play queen c8, maybe. Queen c8, queen g3, then 97. C8, queen d2. Or maybe just shift the rook to d7. Or, um. Uh, I can play knight of four and rookie seven, and it's just a draw, but we lost the first game. Yeah, like, I mean, knight of four takes queen of four, rookie six, and it's just a draw. How do I try not to make a draw? Because if we're already down one nothing, I mean, I have to go for broke. Um, how do I do it, though? 97 d5 is probably suspect. <clears throat> seven. Queen e2 is the issue, I think. Whatever, let's just do it. <sighs> no, I mean, I'm not taking a draw regardless, because, I mean, I have to. Like, we're already the underdogs, and if we're already going to... If we're already going to just basically drop one point at the get-go... Okay, now I start to put the knight back on d5. King h2 is a bad, bad move by Eric. Because now by shifting the rooks, I protect the pawn. The rook was on f7, so it cut the protection. <clears throat> I mean, just play two games at once? Yeah, I bet if I played two games at once, I'd be better than forfeiting, but <laughs> yeah, I can't do it, unfortunately. Uh, what does Queen H... If I play 95, he takes or something. Okay, that's that's it's a good move actually. I can play knight c6 though to cut it. Then he goes c4 or something. No, I play. Oh no, I can't play queen f8. Um, bishop h6 a threat. Let's see. If I play knight d5, bishop h6, h6, king g7. He doesn't have anything. He just. Oh no, he can take with the queen and king g8. King g8. He has nothing. H6, King g7. He's got nothing. Let's call Eric's bluff. He thinks he can just sack and, you know, pray for a mate. He doesn't have anything. <clears throat> of course, if he doesn't sack, he's just busted anyway because he's losing material. Oh, no, he's got rook, no rook b3. I can cut him with e3, and he has no rook g3 checks. Queen f4, rook g3 would just lose. But he's got a sack on h6. So I'm going to pre-move it. More arrows, please, right? More cowbell, more cowbell, more cowbell. Although he's got rook b3 though, it's actually it's not completely over. But I can take and take on d4 and I'm up a pawn, so it's all good. This is not ABBA, this is a Ava. Oh, I'm missing an arrow on C7, fine. I go Rook C3 and I hit the Bishop. Does that make you happy? I'm also hitting the Pawn on C2.
What is Eric calculating? He can't take on H6. It's pretty straightforward. It takes all 10 seconds to see that. Thank you, Sogwog, for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. You can't bluff Naka. He's a, uh, he's a calling station. Earlier, Anna was concerned that three arrows was the maximum number of arrows she could draw. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, Eric's mistake was that he didn't go, he didn't go for the kill. He didn't he didn't play the sharpest line. He should have played. Um, he should have gone Bishop H five G four because once he didn't do that, it's still fine for White. But he loses the he loses all the initiative there. So I'm just up a pawn here. Okay, now he drops pawn number two. Donka Shen, Eric. I appreciate the charity. I appreciate the free pawns that you just give me for no reason. Okay, the problem for Eric though is now I play rook e7, queen e5 even is coming. Rook, my rooks are amazing. I have queen c7 as well. And I'm just up two pawns here, so it should just be cleanly winning. Thank you, Ethan Owen Seven, for the three months. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, place C three. I think I just go. Uh, rook c4 looks fine. Let's let's make sure. Yeah, just yeah, just rook c4. Queen e5 is coming. I should be winning here. <clears throat> Actually, I'm also starting to just grab another pawn. Like if he plays rook g3, I just takes again. He's got no checks. No, but see, this is a mistake. I should have been playing like this. Like queen c7 or queen e5. They both win. I'm just going to go queen e5. I'm just up two pawns. I mean, there's nothing you can do here. I mean, I should have just been playing like this against Swirts last week. I don't know why I, don't know why I was trying to be solid. I should have just gone for the kill. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so I win my game. Import. Very important. Let's watch Sasha's game. Uh oh, this looks weird. Okay, so what's the count? White is up a pawn, right? White's up one pawn here. Black has two bishops, and White's king is kind of open. So, I mean, so we'll see. So, we'll see. Um, let's go. Can you guys update? Oh, they're not going to update the score. Okay. Okay, there's the update. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Okay. Yeah, actually, the clock difference. I, yeah, yeah, we're down three minutes, aren't we? This is not good. Not good. Okay. Um, That was a good game. I should have played like this last week. I'm such an idiot. Eric shouldn't be tilted because they got one free point already. Like, they're already in the lead. They're, they're definitely in the lead. Someone said 2-1. Is it 2-1 for, uh, for who? It's 2-1 for who, actually. I should have played like this last week. I'm such an idiot. Yeah. Uh, there's one other game going. The other game is... Um, who is the other game? It is uh, our board. It's Gadir. What is Gadir's name again? He's like Azri Chess or something. What is uh, Gadir's username? I'll, I'll look up his game as well. Yeah, I finished my uh, my ginger tea, so now I'm drinking coffee. I still have my water, of course. G. Gusanov, okay, let's see if I can pull it up. Okay, so let's see. Um, Oh, uh, Gusanov is holding. This should be a draw. This should be a draw. <coughs> this should be a draw with correct play. Good move by... Yeah, this is going to be a draw, I think. It's even material. It's going to be a rook and pawn endgame. As long as Gadir doesn't lose his pawn on d3, bring the king over, it should be a draw. Come on. Come on, Gadir. 
Or B4, B4 also, B4, B5, A5 is probably fine too. I don't like King F1. I thought King F3 was more natural, bring the king closer to the center, but it still should be fine. Actually, where is Fedoseev? Like, I mean, oh yeah, see. Okay, a5, a5 and rook c5. Again, though, see, the king is better on f3 because f1, you always run issues with back rank, back rank king stuff. Like, shh. Okay, uh, not good. See, the king should have been on f3, not f1. I mean, it's still, still a draw, but, oh, this is, this gonna, this is a hard draw. This still should be a draw. It's like king f3, king f3, man, king f3. Go, go! They said Fedor save is back. Okay, like, okay, King G two is good. It's so hard to draw. I mean, this he's gonna lose. No, he's gonna lose because now it's three v two. Yeah, just rook a three, king f four, and. Uh... If you yell at the pawns, they move faster, yeah. Okay, this one's over, so I'm going to pull up the other game. Uh, let's pull up Grishchuk's game. Okay. Um. Okay, so Iturzaga is holding, actually. Just F3, Rook F2, maybe. I don't think White can win here, but White's up a pawn, so White should be able to hold this. Like, F3 and Rook F2. Oh, they're going to sub Fedoseev out for who? Who can replace Fedoseev? Go F3 or Queen E5? Yeah. White is definitely holding here. If he, if he doesn't get too low. Like, f4, f5 is a nice idea. I mean, Grishuk should trade and go rook c2 and make a draw. But I don't know if he's going to gamble or not. This is the interesting thing here. Because he's up 40 seconds. Does Grishuk gamble or does he take and make the draw with rook c2? Hopefully he gambles here. Because, I mean, we're down in the match. So we want him to gamble with, like, queen a6. Unfortunately, he's thinking too... Oh, okay, f4, f4, f4. Yeah, come on. <clears throat> nice blunder by Grishchuk, thinking he can win with Queen A6 when he should have traded and made a draw with Rook C2. So F5 is coming? Okay. Okay, Aturazaga definitely has winning chances now if he plays this correctly. Okay, Queen D5 or Queen E2? Good. No, but now he can trade and make the draw again with Rook, e2, Rook C2. Ack. Ah, no! Uh. Yeah, it's just a draw. This is a draw. You sit. You can sit and wait with anything, really. <coughs> this is a draw, yeah. Okay, so this is a draw. So let's go back to um, Anish's game, or no, Anish one, I assume. Yeah, Anish one. Rumor has it that Moran. Yeah, but see, Moran is not a board two though. Moran is like a, a board three or a board four. I mean. Okay, so basically, you guys, I might score one point this match because now I'm gonna now I'm gonna try to win every game. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna try to uh, I'm not even gonna try to uh, to 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 um, like I can't draw games now because if 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 Miranda is playing on board too, thank you Fabinator sixty nine for the sub with Twitch Prime, then we're in we're in bad shape. So I'm gonna have to uh, um, I'm gonna have to try to win every game basically because I think I think we're in very bad shape. Um, yeah, we're in very bad shape if, if Miranda is stepping, stepping in. Um, I don't know what the situation actually is. But yeah, if Miranda has to step in, then I'm going to have to try to win every game. There's like no doubt. No doubt. 
Yeah, I mean, Mor Miranda is fine, but the thing is, Miranda is never playing board two for us. He's always playing board three or board four. So he can obviously do well, but like we need someone stronger on board two and we need him down on board four because he's, he's better than most board fours. So because of that, my strategy is going to be, uh, even if objectively I do some stuff that's crazy, I'm going to definitely be going for broke every game now. Oh, he was board one last season? Okay. Um, it's not so easy to get a replacement in the middle of the match. No, I mean, of course, like, this shouldn't be happening, obviously. I'm not saying that you should be able to find God or something. It's just, uh, it's just a, it's just a bad situation, honestly. Just very sucky. But hey, at least we found somebody. At least, at least we found somebody instead of, uh, instead of having to, like, you know, just forfeit four games, but still. Thank you for the 300 bits. I love how you say shouldn't. Shouldn't. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. 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 Fine. He shouldn't. Let's enunciate the words. Right? Enunciate the words like to use. Should not. Shouldn't. Let's enunciate. Um, anyway, okay. It's possible that 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 uh, Fedo Seyev went out. Fedo Seyev probably went out to some nightclub with two Utes, right? That's what Fedo Seyev is up to. Um, yeah, this is. I don't. I, so it's going to be. Let me see if they updated the score sheet in the meantime. So who's board two? Board two will be uh will be Miranda. So it's Miranda. Miranda will have to play against. Um, Sarich is the guy who didn't have to play. So that means Mir Miranda has to play one, two, and four. Okay. Yeah. If he, it, okay. So basically, it's up to me and Miranda to carry the carry the day. Because if Miranda puts up a big score, we have a shot still. And if I put up a big score, we've got a shot too. <clears throat> oh, Vlad knows how to go out. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, near, wow. Daniel says he's nursed a few hangovers with Fedo Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I actually had no idea, but that's kind of funny. That's funny. Very funny, actually. That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so we're down, what, we're down one and a half points. I should have a follower goal of 100,000. What is? What are we at for followers? I don't know the exact number. Um, Eighty-eight thousand. So yeah, let's get to a hundred thousand in the next uh, four hours. How's that for a goal? <laughs> anyway, what happened with Fedo Sib? I don't think we know. He's just he's a MIA basically. Daniel likes his Belgian beer. You mean like a uh, Hefeweizen or Stella Artois? Okay, so Miranda takes over. So he has to play one, two, four. So uh, this is going to be a. Uh, it's gonna be an uphill battle, but if I can if I can win a couple of games here, I'm gonna say if I can get three and a half points, I think I need to get three and a half for us to have a shot in the match. That's what, what I'm gonna predict is that I need to score three and a half. Even with us down a point, if I score three and a half, I think we've got a shot. I need to score three and a half for four today, uh, considering the uh, situation. 91k YouTube subs and not verified. What? I don't actually know how to get verified on YouTube. Hefeweizen is, is great, actually. I don't really love drinking beer, but Hefeweizen is one of my favorites. I like Hefeweizen. What else do I like? Uh, um, yeah, Hefeweizen is one of my favorites, for sure. Triple Carmeliet. I don't know what that is. The problem, the problem here is um, actually... I'm sure that Eric has informed the team that like what what's going on, and they're up a point. So I'm expecting uh, Anish. Well, Anish, I don't know what he'll do, but I would expect they're gonna they're gonna always try to keep the games more in the margin of safety if they can at this point in time. But this next round is very critical because I play Sarich or Sherich, I should uh, Sherich Sharich Sarich. 
I, I'm not sure the pronunciation. Anyway, um, I mean, I, I basically have to. Uh, uh, this next game is important because if I win this, if I win this next game and we're in the match, we've got a shot. If I win this next game and we still get pasted, then I think we're in really bad shape. But I do need to go for the win this next game. Um, of course, I get white as well, so um, definitely going to take my chances here. Uh, I do like wine. I generally, if I have to drink these days, I'll take uh, the following. I will do a Moscow Mule. That's probably my top drink. Um, after a Moscow Mule, what do I? Dr I mean, I always like, obviously, like you know, Macallan or uh, Glenlivet. You know, all, all the all the good Scottish whiskey, Japanese whiskey as well. I'll do that on the rocks, um, and then after that, I'll probably do a glass of white or a beer if I have to drink. Sake is okay, but I don't really, I don't love sake that much. Like, I don't know. Tequila, I don't drink. I haven't, I, I don't think I've, I, I mean, I don't drink tequila. I, I haven't had tequila in quite a few years now. I, tequila is one of those things that just like, I, I do, don't, don't do well with. Uh, gin and tonic was a drink that I used to have all the time. Um, <clears throat> also, Gimlet's another drink that I used to like quite a bit. I mean, martinis are fine too, of course. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not James Bond. So, um, I mean, martinis are great because you get to, you get the olive, you get to eat the olive. Sake is very strong, but usually you drink it in a super small glass, so like you don't end up drinking all that much. Um, tequila, not 17 anymore. Yeah, I drank way too much tequila when I was at uh, college. I'm not gonna pretend I didn't. I, I drank way too much tequila when I was at college. I got blurry after drinking. Are you sure it's water? I'm not blurry, am I? No, I'm not blurry. Funny. I don't even have... I mean, I think I may... I might have a bottle of sake. I might have a small bottle of sake in my uh, in my um, cupboard. But that's all the alcohol I have in my house. So I, I very rarely drink anymore. Wow, 22 16 viewers, not bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to carry us, but it's going to be tough. Plumbing situation fixed. Yeah, so the toilet is fixed. A um, little bit skeptical on a few things. I think, uh, let me turn the sound down so I can hear myself over this. Um, so yeah, what I was going to say is um, plumbing situation is fixed. It's a little bit questionable what the deal was because I know there's an issue with the uh, what the wax ring, I think is what it's called. But there's also an issue with, um, I think, like the, the, uh, the toilet to bowl connection as well. Um, so there's a couple different things that I think all collapsed at the same time, uh, but it's fixed. What's not fixed is that I haven't gotten the check from uh, the insurance company yet, so I can repair the walls and the, and the roof because they had to like drill holes and stuff. So that's not fixed yet, but I'll, I'll get a check soon, hopefully, and deal with it. A Pat Cop says eat more fiber. Is that oh is is that is is that a joke? Is that a joke? You're saying that I'm not using the restroom enough? It's funny you should say that though, because when I had the um, when I had the uh, the people come out to inspect it, and they said the the uh, the wax ring it was a, the wax ring basically didn't exist anymore. It was in very bad shape. Um, what they did say is that essentially, if you're not at home for a long period of time and you don't flush the toilets, that actually will happen. So it's like now every day, even if I don't use all the toilets in my house, I make sure to flush them every single day um, because uh, it's just it's just important. It's not toilet theory. The, basically, the, the plumber who came out to inspect, he said that he he deals with a lot of places in Boca, and there are a lot of like there are a lot of uh, winter birds who come down from Quebec, and that they were having this issue like every every winter, and that it's because they weren't they were they were gone for six months of the year. So basically, yeah, it's just some you know you learn something new every day. So I, when I'm here, I try to flush the toilets even if I don't use them. Um, just try to flush them every single day. It sounds wasteful, yeah, but I mean, do I want my ha do I want like water just exploding through my roof and and having this disaster? Get your butler to flush them. I don't have a butler. I'm not worth forty five million dollars, so I can't afford that. I'm sorry, you guys. Do I get red when I drink? No, because I mean, we've had this discussion before, but I'm not. I'm for I'm not that Asian, even though I look very Asian. I don't. My body is not that of an Asian. So, what can I say?
<laughs> yeah, actually, body. I should say my what's it? My genetic. Well, no, genetics are Japanese. Whatever. Anyway. Um... <laughs> DNA. Yeah. <laughs> um... Do, uh, do I'm holding anything in marijuana socks? No, I don't believe in it at all. I mean, I, I've said this before, like Kronos, Aurora, all these companies, I don't believe in them at all. I think, I mean, I'm not a hedge fund, so I can't short them. But if, if I actually, like, if I worked at a hedge fund and I had millions under management, I would probably be, I would probably directly be shorting some of these stocks. Um, but I'm not, so I, I can't, I, I can't do it. But I definitely don't believe in, I don't believe in it at all. I think it's, a, it's total nonsense. I don't, uh, what someone says, why don't you work at a hedge fund? Because chess is, there are a few reasons. First of all, chess pays better, oddly enough. Like if you're at a hedge fund for a very long time, you can make money, make a lot of money. But chess, chess pays better for me right now. Um, and secondly, it's much more fulfilling. I, I find, you know, something like Twitch especially, I can give back to, to the community. If, you know, if you're working at a hedge fund, it's all finance. You're making money. But in a way, you're also like, I don't want to say stealing money, but like the way you make a lot of money is having the assets under management. So it's basically you're just taking these percentages off of people, which in a way to me feels like you're, you're kind of ripping them off, especially considering that most hedge funds do not outperform, uh, do not outperform the S&P these days. <clears throat> favorite two sectors i'm overweight tech and healthcare tech and healthcare are by far and away my two favorites um so yeah 